Now there guys, today we're going to be talking about the one point perspective again and we're going to be pointing out um, quite simple aspects about it quickly. We're going to be looking at my stationary point and we're going to be referring to a vanishing point which is directly above the stationary point on the horizon line. Okay, so where it intersects with the horizon line that will become my vanishing point. This shape over here would eventually need to be connected to my vanishing point because that is where everything vanishes. Alright, we also have stipulated in previous videos that everything in my auxiliary top view that's not touching the picture plane such as this point here, here, and this point or this intersection point here would need to be connected to my line of sight which is my stationary point. That's me standing there looking at that building and I can see everything from the left hand point all across to the right hand point. Everything that falls behind it such as this line here, that line there and this point here with this line from that point to that point will need to be in hidden detail because it's not going to be able to be seen. All right. I also have my ground line, my horizon line and my picture plane. All right, so let's go ahead and start the process. I'm going to use my construction lines and I'm going to simply join everything that does not touch the picture plane to my stationary point. There we have it there. And this point over here. So there are three points over there. What the idea here is, is to try and force these three points over here that I've connected to my stationary point to touch the picture plane and give me reference points that I'm going to be using to project straight down with. So I'm going to just simply go ahead and go and plot those reference points quickly for myself and I'm going to use my vertical line to go and project from there directly down. Okay, all three of these points. Just take note that if you do get all your um, projection lines done, then at least um, you are going to be saving yourself some time on drawing. Just remember that every drawing or every point that is touching the picture plane would obviously be project projected straight down. There it is there. So you'd be able to see what they are used for. And everything that touches the picture plane over here, okay, that was not touching the picture plane, would now be touching the picture plane and be projected straight down, just like these two. Okay. Now that I've joined my auxiliary top view to my stationary point, I'd like to go ahead and join my front view points to my vanishing point. So I'm going to go ahead with this point over here. Okay, please take note that I haven't actually gone ahead and joined these back ends over here because when they are projected to my vanishing point, they are simply going to be falling behind these lines, which will then eventually be hidden detail lines. Now, there's a little subtle difference between the drawing I did or the video I did before this one. And this one has, in, or has included a line that goes from this point to that point over there. If I look at my top view, the kind of roof that I have over here would mean that from this line, that point to that point, there would be a fold line all the way up to my apex of the roof. Okay, in this case of here, I had a flat surface and then I'd experience that fold line over there and then further away from my actual picture plane that's leaning away from me all the way up to my, my actual apex of the roof. Okay, so now that I've actually joined each one of these points that I'm going to be seeing to my vanishing point, and I've joined each one of the points in my top view to my stationary point, remember this will always be the case, you'll always do that, no matter where the stationary point is, and no matter no matter where the vanishing point will be. Obviously, they'll obviously be in line with each other at all times. Um, I now want to go ahead and go and join or find my points of intersection. Let's follow this point over here, connecting to that point over there. These two points over here, that point over there represents two points, an upper and a lower point, just like that one does, this one and that one. These two in the front over here, that one and that one, represents an upper and a lower, which is the upper and the lower. This one would represent this upper 
and that lower they're directly below uh, one another okay so I want to go ahead and connect my intersection points this point over here followed down to my picture plane projected straight down would be giving me this intersection point and that intersection point an upper and a lower why the exactly well they are in line with this point going further back there and it is also in line with this point yeah going further back to the vanishing point okay this information gives me the depth that I need remember this building doesn't go all the way to the vanishing point that would mean that this line over here would go up through the top of the build uh, the, the drawing over here and I would never see the end until it obviously vanishes so this building stops at this point so which means it needs to stop on this line over here okay now I want to go ahead and find this point this apex over here now this point over here is very interesting because I can, there are one or two methods to be uh, drawn over here I'm simply going to go ahead and find this via projection onto the actual picture plane and then straight down okay there it is over there okay now there's a little secret over here I found this apex which is actually over here that means these two lines over here would need to be in construction line remember everything that touches the picture plane is going to be drawn in final line remember this apex over here does not touch the picture plane unlike these two points here who do touch the picture plane remember this point represents an upper and a lower point there it is there upper and a lower point this point over here represents an upper and a lower point there it is there upper and a lower point yet if I move further away from my picture plane I have a depth to work with from the picture plane to this point this point does not lie directly on the picture plane which means I can't project that one straight down and simply draw these in a final line okay so once I've established that I needed to connect this point to my stationary point we had cut the picture plane I then drop it straight down onto this reference line going back to my vanishing point that means I can simply go ahead and go and join these lines from here to here from here to there from here to there in final line I'm gonna go ahead and just clean this up for us and make these two lines more visible as they will form part of my actual drawing my final result would look like that over there okay so now you can see that this was only merely a template to assist me in finding this point over here that point could only be found all along this line going back to the vanishing point so I've got to go ahead and find that point by projecting the depth down to the picture plane and straight down onto that reference line which gives me this reference point I then went and go uh, went to go and connect these or already found reference points for the wall to my apex and to form this one point perspective of this building guys I hope this uh, video was good assistance and I hope it builds some understanding around this kind of roof thank you for watching